Yo, JMM, how you doing, man? What's good, G? What's good, man? Yo, man, it's a pleasure having you on my show, man. I can't believe it's happening. Yeah, you know what it is. I'm running, I'm running. Welcome to Hope Jams. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit, like, you know, like, unsteady because we're jumping straight into it. But um, I'll tell you what, why don't you tell us, first of all, like, what happened with your name, man? Because, obviously, so many people knew you as Pyrex, and suddenly you changed it to JMM. Yeah. So can you tell us a bit about that? Well, yeah, man. Well, basically, it was just, you know, um, everybody. I mean, I'm I'm still called Pyrex to this, you know, today. You know what I mean? I got little kids and little kids that only know me by Pyrex. So, I mean, it's kind of hard for them to say Joseph or JMM and all that. But it was just something for me. It wasn't for really nobody else. It was just something for me, man. It's just I've been I've been called Pyrex all my life, man. I've been had that stamped on me all my life. So I was like, you know, let me, you know, the, my, the business side of me says, you know, let me take care of my business and, start being an executive, you know, be a be a head honcho all the way and be called by my government name. So I just be called by that, you know. I mean it was just a, a new a new wave, a new leaf, like I said, turned over, man. It was it wasn't really nothing with it. It was just something for myself to do. Yeah, man. That's what I kind of thought it was. Like, it, like you're trying to like change, you know what I mean? Like, because when you put in Pyrex, you see like a lot of like all the stuff you did, kind of thing, and then I guess you want to be more relevant to right now in your life, don't you? So. Yeah, man, them checks ain't written to Pyrex, man. Them checks written to Joseph. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, Pyrex is a, is a stage name. Yeah, it was something that was given to me. It was something that was, you know, now it's, it's like let me give what God put on my mom's heart to give, and that's Joseph. You know. Why was um? Why was Pyrex given to you? What does it originally mean? Pyrex is um, the street name that I received when I was in the streets. Um, just, you know, being Pyrex, basically, you, you've got a Pyrex to cook, you know, um, um, cake and pies, it's a measuring cup, you know, and in the streets you use a Pyrex to cook dope up with. And, I mean, basically, man, what is dope? Dope is cocaine put inside of a beaker of a Pyrex, whipped it up, and you get hard white crack. And um, I'm a hard white boy. And people just thought it named me Pyrex. And it just kind of went betraying them. They were joking around and said Pyrex. And it just stuck. And I, I've been called Pyrex since I was about 15 years old. Your life, like, has been, like, mostly, like, street running, hasn't it? Like, you're... I mean, you've been doing music for a long time. But, like, before you became known in the music industry, you kind of in and out of prison quite a lot, right? You were into that street yeah, culture. Yeah. Yeah, I was in and out of jail, man. In and out of jail, in and out of jail. That's all I knew was jail, man. Like, I was basically about 15, 16 years old. I ain't been on paper since then. Um, um, I've been on paper since I was 16. I'm about to be 32. And I'll be finally getting on papers in like 38 days. I discharged papers finally. Yeah, man, that's amazing, man. I mean, uh, you've been... Am I right in saying that it's Train 9 that, that kind of helped you come out of it? Um, yeah, I believe he is a major asset. He um, planted the seed of love. I believe love is, is the, the power to all humanity when it comes to war, when it comes to violence, when it comes to um, creating a child, when it comes to everything within love. So, I mean, you know, he planted love on me. I had hate on my heart. I didn't even believe in God. So, I mean. Yeah, man. That's that amazing. That's right? right there. Yeah, so what what are you doing right now, man? What's relevant in your life right now? Because is it Joseph? Uh, man, I, say family. Mi- I say family. I say family. There's been I've been um, people don't know that I've been a Christian hip hop artist for almost four years now. Yeah, um, it's not something that's been you know last year or something like that. I've been in this since August first, two thousand thirteen. You know, uh, there was a season for major major um, fellowship with ministry outreach programs. Um, getting really deep into the cycle of the streets and just getting real in the community. And I did it for almost four years. And now this season is to take care of my wife, take care of my children, watch my kids grow. I was so active in the streets that I wasn't being able to disciple my own home. So that's my season now is just doing a little music here and there, raising my children, getting them together, man, and just getting my son into um, getting full time with just discipleship and just getting his life together. What can you tell us that you're doing right now, like 2017? Like, what's going on for you? Well, I got a, I got a, um, I got a, a couple records coming out, man. One's called Three Gs. I'm doing it with Two Punk and I Am Justified, and another, um, but that's going to be a hip hop, um, rock and roll type vibe, something like you know the Christian Migos. You feel me? And then we're going to have, um, I got a, a gospel record coming out. Um, 
with uh, uh, two women called the Jackson Twins. So that's going to be pretty dope. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Uh, are you doing any tours this year? Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully we land the three D tour. Uh, that's what we're planning on. That's what we're we're focused on the most this year. Is landing the three. The, it's called three Gs. So, I mean, hopefully we can um, land that tour, man. What is uh, what is the three Gs? What's that stand for? We're just you know, we got a bunch of different meetings. You know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, you I, I I rather I rather y'all see before I just announce it and just stamp what exactly we're gonna use. But um, like the Z, it's 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 like G E E Z, and the Z has no name for it anyway. It's gonna be um, um, don't worry about the Z dot com is what we're working on. You know what I'm saying? Because people are always trying to figure out what this is, this and that. So it's gonna we're gonna three, we're gonna la- label the G and the E and the E. The Z is gonna be don't worry about the Z dot com, and that's gonna be um, our website that we're gonna promote the album and what we got going on. So I think it's gonna be pretty smart. <laughs> Pretty tight, pretty everything. So, yeah, man. I mean, I've seen a lot of your music. I'm, I'm a fan of yours personally, and um, you're such a hard hitting rapper. And it's it's great to see like everything you're doing now for the ministry kind of thing, and how you how you're doing stuff with Train Nine, and how you're doing stuff with making your own ministry. But for your music, man, it's just amazing in itself. You know what I mean? Appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Um, hard hitting. Like I had, a couple of weeks ago, we had Illuminate on, and I know sometimes you do stuff with him. Hey. Shout out to Luke Nate. That's my brother, ITW. You know, I put you guys in that same kind of group. You're like hard-hitting guys, you know, telling it straight from the streets. No messing around. And that's what I love, man. Already, bro. Real for real. Yeah, man. And, um, you know, let's try and hit you up. Come back on the show in September, bro, for a proper a proper interview showcase, man. <laughs> that's what I want. Yeah, we're going to make it happen, bro. You see what's up, man. It's good on my end. Straight love.